So I don't know if you guys were wondering or not, but I got two chainsaw bags. This one's newer. Uh, there's not much in this one, but this one's full of stuff. And I want to show you guys what I have in my bags. And maybe you guys were wondering what to bring and what to set up inside a chainsaw bag. So here's a video for you. So there's a lot of stuff in the bag on the right. The bag from here over, it's a newer bag. There's not much in it. I've just been slowly uh, collecting stuff to put in that bag. So I have two of them. This side right here, that stays in the truck 24 seven. That's uh, it's what we use every day. So we'll go over the small bag first. So this actually goes in between the two bags, it's a Grand Fours Brux Axe. I love it. The edge stays sharp forever. I love that little axe there. Next up, we got the wedges. I just, I haven't even used these yet. I'm trying them out. They're, uh, where are they? I forgot, I forgot what brand. The Double Taper Wedge Company. I don't, I don't think that's how they described it online where I bought it from. But this is my Timberline sharpener. I tr tried it out, bought it. I don't know if I like it that much. I can sharpen really good with a hand file. One of these steel multi tools. This is the best one. It's got the taper on one side. That's what I use in the other bag. So I had to get another one. These are spare raker files for these two-in-1 tools. Then I got this vise. It's usually in that that bag right there, but I'd put it in the other ones. What I do is just put it like that, and I can put the bar in it and sharpen really good. And then just spare. These are steel files, um, three eighths and. 325 I don't know one's for 325 which is 3 sixteenths and the other one's for 3 eighths and I use 13 60 fourths for 3 eighths you get a sharper file I'm trying out the these new um, files I've been trying to find out who makes steel files because they'd be cheaper to buy from the people who supply steel. And the files are very similar, so I'm gonna see how they last. Keep you guys updated. Now on to the main bag. So start from the top and work down. So I have spare pull cord. Cause if you break a pull cord in the woods, it's not good. I got two hand files, one's for uh 1364, the other one's 316. I have two um, of these two-in-one files. I love them to death. These are the best thing ever created because it keeps the raker gauges filed down when you do the uh, teeth. I would suggest buying one. I got 3 sixteenths and a 13 60 fourths. And they're different colors because that one's for 3 8 and that one's for 325 chain. So I purposely got different colors to differentiate. Next up, all files. I've used every kind of file brand there is and nothing cuts like the steel files. Even this one was this one. I got some old Save Edge preferred files. I don't like them. I think steel makes the best file. That's why I'm trying these out to see if they're anything compared to steel. So I've got an adjustable, various scrunches, 
This one again is my favorite. Got wedges, just regular steel wedges. These ones, Woodland Pro, or yeah, Woodland Wood Pro. I don't know. And inside of this, it's like a carb kit. I got a spare, more little scrunches, a little screwdriver, got a spare spark plug. Uh, raker gauge. I keep a little piece of wire for cleaning out the tips of uh, this little grease gun. I this is what I used to use when uh, when the change would get really bad if I hit a nail or some kind of piece of metal in the wood. That's what I would use to uh, get the edge back. But that's what I'm trying now. This is kind of a pain to set up, but that's what I used to use, is kind of what I'm using now. Got a spare chain. My 372. Got a tape measure for cutting logs. If I ever get a big tree and just want to save the log, got a tape measure with me. Spare air filter. Forget which one that goes on. I think it's for the Husky. Then just a file for the breaker gauge so I'm hoping to get all this stuff in my new bag too and for the bags that I get um, this one's about 15 years old but they're lineman bags as you can see so I put like my wedges will go in there little wedges over here so that's like my files go in there I have them all separated so files go in there scrunches in the next one so I keep all the the main tools that I use every day just right out in the open oh another thing I forgot to mention is a spare two-stroke oil you always want to keep a spare bottle in your chainsaw bag so if you ever go into the woods or you leave your shop and you forget oil you're screwed you got to go all the way back to your shop but if you know you have an extra one in your bag that you always take it's just a good practice so if you guys like the video just leave a like and a comment Maybe let me know what you guys have in your bag, what you guys bring out in the woods when you go cutting trees or cutting firewood.